What's going on everybody? Peter Martin here. I'm so excited. This is my second duo concert, our second one here at Open Studio. And we have an incredibly special guest and somebody that is so near and dear to me. Uh, we were just catching up some, some none other than the great Mark Whitfield. And I can't wait to introduce him and to hear his music and to share a little bit of uh, camaraderie and, and brotherhood during this pause time. Um, so welcome. Thank you guys for being here. I'm going to kind of warm things up a little bit, which is great because I've been known to do this with Mark going back like going on 30 years. So, uh, you know, I might play a solo before him or whatever. So that's the way we're going to do it. And um, yeah, thank you guys for being here. I'm going to start out with a little bit of Thelonious Monk. We're going to keep this super loose. Me and Mark were just talking about diff different music and, and life and, and, and what's happening. So uh, we hope you enjoy it. I'm going to start out with a little bit of Well You Needn't. And um, thanks.
All right, all right. A little well you needn't. A little well you needn't. Felonious monks, well you needn't. Hope that you enjoy. We all there. Are we all there? We're all there. We're all there. All right. So right now I'd like to introduce and bring on uh, a gentleman that I've known for, as I said, quite a few years, 30 plus years. And, you know, we both are celebrating our 39th uh, birthday this year. So it was a great thing to meet him when we were little kids in, in elementary school. Uh, but Mark Whitfield is an amazing musician. He's a teacher. He's a father. Uh, he's a friend. And uh, he's one of the most accomplished uh, guitarists uh, of our generation. He came up in the, uh, the so-called Young Lions New York scene, as I did, but he was really at the forefront. He was the guitar player coming out of the early 90s, uh, even late 80s, maybe a little bit. Uh, but he's very deeply steeped in the tradition um, from playing with Jack McDuff and Jimmy Smith, you know, the wonderful organists of the previous generation. Uh, and he was kind of, you know, handpicked and anointed by none other than George Benson as the guy of our generation. And then he's also, you know, he, he made a number of great records on Warner Brothers and Verve in the early 90s, all throughout the 90s, really hallmark recordings of those years, classic 90s records, uh, and then, of course, into the 2000s. And we've worked together on and off for years. It's been one of the biggest pleasures of my career to interact musically and personally with this gentleman. And um, he's also, you know, played with Roy Hargrove and Wynton Marsalis, Chris Bodie, and then, you know, into the, the pop and funk world. He's recorded with D'Angelo on his classic recording and John Mayer. Actually, John Mayer used to call him, I don't know if he still does, used to call him for lessons. We're going to talk about that. But I'd like to introduce the wonderful, incomparable Mr. Mark Whitfield. Hey, 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 I'm still clapping for what you need, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was waiting on that. I was like, all right. I've been clapping now, like my hands are tight. My hands are tight. I've been clapping a long time. Put oh, thanks. On. Man, that oh, sounded man. great. Uh, that's awesome. I see you've been transcribing some of my earlier works. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Much earlier. That was the late 80s. That was yeah, the late oh, 80s. Stuff, mid, that's more mid 80s. Yeah. <laughs> As usual, your technique is uh, in top form. Oh. Sounding beautiful, man. I like it. I like that. I mean, it's a pandemic. What, what can we do? Solo guitar, right. solo piano, exactly. put on the headphones and connect, man. That's how we do it. Right, right. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, congratulations to you. Thanks for having me come in. That was a wonderful introduction. You always find a way to make me sound better uh, and cooler and, and, and nicer and more important than I am, which I will appreciate forever. Now, well, now let's see, because I know that I know that you're going to deliver on the guitar. So it's oh, easy. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just yeah. serving it up, you know. Yeah, 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 sure, so, sure, sure. I did send out a couple of requests by social media, but I'm not even going to bring those up because you can mm. let those float till later or you can even let them float off. Yeah. But uh, like I was saying at the beginning, I figured, you know, like we talked about, we're going to keep things loose. We have nothing mm -hmm. planned and yeah. I'm, I'm excited to hear what you're going to do and I'm going to try to react off you and we're going to try to put a nice little little solo guitar slash solo piano set together for the folks. Beautiful. Well, that'll be easy, easy for us to do. That's Absolutely. right. That's right. <laughs> Real easy. Cool. Well, if it's my turn to play... I'd like, I'd like to play, uh, um, let's see, make sure you got me on camera. I'd like to play here uh, an old standard entitled More Than You Know. We'll see how that goes. Thank you. 
Yeah. <laughs> got it. Got a crescendo. They clap. Thank you for that the was... overwhelming applause. <laughs> man, that was beautiful. I hey, loved it. You the best was... again. Yeah, man. Man, I've always, I've always loved the way that you play ballads, man. The, the, the freedom. I remember. I don't know if you remember this. You actually taught me. Uh, I'm ashamed to say I didn't know it when I first played with you. The very thought of you. Uh huh. Yeah, and uh, you showed me, you're like, come on, man. It's, I mean, like, you were, like, smiling. And, and now when I think back years later, you were smiling like, damn, they don't know this tune in St. Louis, man? What's up? <laughs> That's not it at all. <laughs> it didn't make it from the, from the East Coast. <laughs> but no, uh, I, think I, I, think I, I think the first person, I, I might have heard Winton play that first. Mm. And, I, and I probably, if I gave you a vibe at all, it's probably that I assumed you knew it from spending a lot of time around Winton and Marcus Roberts. I figured it was something something that you picked up. You knew everything else. Why wouldn't you have known that? <laughs> no, but it was so cool because I remember you showed it to me. You weren't like, here's the chart. Let me, you were just like, here, check it out. You're going to be able to get this, you know. And I mean, I think I'd heard it. Yeah, yeah but, sure. but I still think about the way that, uh, that, that you laid out the chains. I think you recorded that early on too. They did a great version of that. Thank you. Um, but yeah, man, always loved your ballad playing. So actually, if it's cool with you, man, I, I was, uh, I'm going to go ballad because you kind of inspired me there. Okay. And I'm thinking... The couple that I was thinking of doing, maybe if you have a preference, I was either going to do Sophisticated Lady or Embraceable You. All right. I'd like to hear you play Embraceable You. All right. That's how yeah. we do it. Beautiful. All right.
Man, that's lovely. Beautiful. Woo! Woo! <laughs> like yeah, we said, it's just it's like the old days when we played as one person in the audience. But we got some other folks here. Oh, man. It's funny. Somebody remind, uh, I got a, a message the other day from a person who was at the Vanguard that we, we played, I want to say, 94, maybe. Uh, he was responding to um, a video that I posted of Vivian Sessoms and me uh, playing Autumn in New York. And he said that he ah. was there one night at the end of the night when I guess the place was pretty much empty and I must have gotten on stage and played that by myself. I could have used your help, I promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were getting ready for this. We, yeah, were, for sure. we were ahead of our time. <laughs> well, we've always been ahead of our time. But you said we got some folks on there watching? We'll be, I didn't mean to cut you yeah. off. Yeah, we got, what's, what's up, on? Linda? Our buddy from, uh, from Florida, Central, oh, Central Linda Florida. Meredith? Linda Meredith, what's hey, up, Linda? Hey, look at oh, there she is. Hey, oh, oh that's awesome. yeah. Thanks, Linda. Yep. And nice. Anthony Lopez, what's up, Anthony? I think he's up by your way, maybe New Jersey ish. Oh, yeah. Something oh. like that. I'm just saying yeah. stuff now. I don't yeah, know. I hear you. I'm I hear trying. You. Oh, Amy, awesome. what's up, Amy? Um, so, yeah, actually, so that Vanguard, I know mm. when we did it, which was actually, I want to say, 92. Maybe, but it, then, or maybe it was 92. Could have been. Yeah. But, yeah. um, I mean, I know you did it many times. 92, 93, 94, well, 95. <laughs> Whenever you let um, me in there. <laughs> that was still when they were doing, like, at least on the weekends, I know we were doing three sets, Three right? sets, exactly. Right. That's right. right. It was a three set. I th and, I, and I remember we were talking a while ago. We, we remembered that story where we, we, went around to the, we went around to the corner of the Blue Note to hear Elvin Jones and got back late for oh. our third set. Oh, that was a Friday right. night. Because it was, it was right. I guess it was uh, 8 o'clock, maybe 10 o'clock, and 11, yep. somewhere like that. Uh, 11 30 yep. for the third set yep and, yep. I, and I was like we got we got plenty of time we can get back in, at midnight it'll be great we don't start till 12 30 or something like <laughs> we got back and she had and and uh uh lorraine, lorraine was like she had, a, she, had, she, had a, she had four uh, she had a new quartet on stage with guys sitting in oh that's right <laughs> like it was gene jackson on drums and some guys like wait what are you guys doing yeah and they were like what are you doing i could be late for your first I said, yeah anyway Oh well. That's that's so New York. It's like oh, you know, if you're 20 minutes late for your set, there's there's a re there's another band ready. Yeah, to step a really in, right? good band waiting to just sit in, <laughs> right? And have to take over the gig, you know. Oh, man. That's great. Doggy dog Thanks. out here, but you know what? We were at youthful exuberance, and the funny thing is, it, it, it would be horrible. It would be, I think it would be a better story if we could say we were out doing something really cool, uh, uh, <laughs> right? Cool as in bad. But we went around the corner yeah. to, hear, to like to be, you know, to be like you know music nerds and hear Elvin Jones' band. That's <laughs> right. We were like at the edge, right? We're right. at the edge of the stage right right sneaking in to see somebody else we had a job of our own to play but that's, that's right. how much that's we right. loved uh, uh we still love but i mean the fact that we're here doing this now is because that's of right. the way we started out we would you know we, we would do it i remember uh, um when when, we, when i first moved to louisiana you were there you know when we started we would drive all the way up to new york to play a week at bradley that's right. You know what I mean? Like we, we did if, it. If we had, if, if we could have driven to Europe, we would have made. You know, if that's all we could afford. We would have done that. That's uh, right. Going, going to any length to play. You know, to play a gig, to make some music, right? Uh, and, and to share that. You know, to share this thing together. That's right. Yeah, and I think that you know we we've always 
we've kept that. And I think during this, this pause period, I think it's you know, being able to connect with musicians like you and friends like you that we've got a lifetime of, of musical camaraderie built up. And it's like, th this is what kind of holds us together. Cause I, For sure. you know, and then we're trying to help the younger players too, because the, especially like if you're coming up now, it's hard because you don't have, like we were there going to Bradley's and going around the corner to Blue Note and New Orleans, Snug Harbor. I mean, all the right. gigs we did there and mm -hmm. hanging out with, you know, Nicholas and Blade and everybody. And, and uh, you know, I, I draw on, on those musical and, and personal memories all the time now. I'm so glad I have them. I, like that's what, keeps yeah. things rolling you know for sure i i, I yeah. you know when i think back to what it was like in april like just a few months ago mid-april or so i'm starting to feel like i was kind of <laughs> like i was in a vacuum like i just was here right. by myself you know and, I know. and, and uh, being able to you know to facetime with some cats or, or whatever is is uh, what helped me keep my sanity and so yeah. i can imagine what it would be like if we didn't have our, our our virtual community which is what you know that's right, right. you know and so uh, and what you're doing is commendable you know these things that you're doing to bring cats together um you deserve a real you know or you know a, some real appreciation for this i'm glad that you invited me and, oh and, man my uh, pleasure and, and i'm paying attention you know i pay attention to what you guys are doing um even when you have that giant guitar player Romero on there, I, I watch that too. <laughs> oh, I think I see him there. Great to see you guys. I'm excited. He wrote that in English, not Portuguese. Oh, so we can... <laughs> oh, all right. See, there, oh, there he is. is. Oh, great. Wow. I just called out of the sky. Man, he's That's amazing. Right. And, and, and I've always enjoyed watching you guys play together. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, once, once again, you know, it reminds you that you're not alone on this planet. Uh, uh, right. Because the, as you so uh, elegantly put, this pause period make, can make you feel really isolated. Right. And, and uh, when it's all over, for a lot of us, the adjustment period of getting back into the flow of life and traveling and all that won't be so difficult because we won't have felt quite so alone doing all of this, you know. Right, right. And I'm seeing, you know, I think for all the folks and thank you guys all for being here, man. We love you so much to to have, a, a, you know, an audience and, and we mm -hmm. do feel you guys virtually. Absolutely. And I think like like I like I say, we, we're. Um, you know, we're socially distancing, but we're staying spiritually connected through the music, you know, and through Absolutely. each other and the memories that we have and the, mu the music's still here and stuff. So that's, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So speaking of music, what, what you feeling next, man? Um, well, uh, maybe I'll play the very thought of you. How about that? Ah, I love it. Love it. All right, I'm just make, making sure you can still hear me here.
Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, Mark. Man, it's like I can hear, I hope folks are hearing it like I'm hearing it. Uh, well, hey, a lot of folks are a lot closer to you than I am, so they probably are. I mean, I could, I could hear your breathing and your phrasing, man. It's like, it's like I'm there, man. Exciting oh. stuff. Uh, well, yeah. I should breathe less and play more. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great, man. I mean, you've always, I mean, I've experienced, I hope, I hope people are able to hear a little bit of that because being on stage with you, you know, when we play together, all of us, but yeah. it's like when you pay attention to each other and, uh, you know, all that stuff comes out on stage and I think that the end product people hear is the combination, but those little things that we take for granted, people don't always hear and it's interesting to be able to note that, you know, especially with the drums getting in the way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> Big shout out to Billy Kilson, where you at? <laughs> He's behind you, be careful. He's right behind me. <laughs> you really careful. He's right behind you, for sure. For sure. You know, it's funny you say that because uh, that's the thing that, you know, so much about what we do or, uh, you know, a large part of, of, of bringing this music to life and bringing music to life is, is about experiencing it live and in person. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, uh, you know, having this video component is, I remember, it's, it's interesting, I remember taking uh, Mark Jr. and Davis to Catalina's when they were little kids. This is, you know, 94, 95, 96, something like that. John mm. Schofield was playing. And he had his trio, it was, it was uh, he had Bill Stewart, 
mm. and Larry Goldings, you know, and, and, and we, you know, we're sitting there, it's, you know, Catalina's a small club, whatever. And while Mark Jr. may have only been six or seven, he was already a smart ass. And so we're sitting there playing, you know, <laughs> we're sitting there and he says, Daddy, I said, what? He says, that drummer needs a seatbelt. Chris <laughs> 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 Stewart was playing the whole gig, oh. you know, jumping up and and watching you play, you know, I, and, and I'm watching you play and, you know, and you, and, you know, and you, you're moving with feeling, moving with feeling with feeling the phrase and I'm, and I'm imagining, you know, here I am trying to trying to sit in a sit, you know, be stationary, sitting in a stool and playing. You know, I want to get up, and jump around, and yell and whatever. Right. And so uh, um, I'm so glad that that uh, we at least can connect this way and see each other and kind of feel and feel uh, um, feel like like it's happening in real time live. Now we're like like we're playing for microphones because so much of what exactly. we do comes from uh, uh, the inspiration you get in the moment, and that's something right. that I'm really glad that people can still somehow experience. Um, right. I mean, I haven't even broken a sweat, so you know this. This is not me. Usually, I'm you know dripping wet in the first two. Uh, That's uh, which right. Is, which is oftentimes just some nervous energy. You know what? I gotta have my tops up so I keep up with you. <laughs> oh, come on! That's a classic. <laughs> yes, well, I think I think too. What you know? What we do is uh, I'm not. Sh- I don't know about you, but I, I. I mean, you. You're at that same top level that that you're always at, and and I think. You know, for me, I, I, it, it hasn't been as hard as I thought it would be to mm-hmm. kind of draw on the experiences and the memories of playing for people because that's why we do this, you know. Right. And sure. and so it's like, what do you do when you're just playing at a, you know, for a camera or whatever? It's like I just kind of imagine that same energy uh, that we get when we're playing live, knowing that that's out there and trying to put out what we have to offer. And I, I think that, you know. For, for, I mean, we're right at, at the same age, but I always, because when I came to New York and met you, you were like, you know, you New Yorker and you were doing your thing. So I was looked up to you, man. I was always like, you're a big brother. I'm not saying you're old. I'm just saying you're my big brother. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I think that you always, you know, you know, had that, that, um, that combination of of intensity you know that new york thing and like come on let's do this and right, we're but do also that yeah, yeah. yeah but also that joy for the music you know and we all, we always connected on that even even when we were young and didn't really know what we were doing maybe a little bit or didn't know everything that we knew you know and so well, we now it's enough, kind we of knew, fun we know we knew enough to chart a path but you learn you learn you learn everything as you start to take that journey and, right and and the funny thing it's funny i remember um you know, one thing, certainly one thing drives the other. You love your intensity. Uh, uh, it, it's intense and it's great and you can enjoy it, but you can only enjoy it if you, if you feel like you're, do, if you, if you're happy with the job you're doing. If you feel like, if you say, because you've worked hard and you're prepared, that's how you can have fun when you prepare. You yeah. know, and then you can, you can let your emotions lead the way. I remember um, appearing on Tonight Show as, as one of Branford's guests when he was on, mm. you know, for that short period. And, yeah, and uh, yeah. I'm talking about looking into a camera and so I wore my best Versace <laughs> suit, you know. Uh, uh, I back. Versace. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, and I, well, looking back at some of those photographs, I could have used the fast and fashion advice. I, I think I had a polka dot, a polka dot tie, and a, and a, and a pinstripe suit, something like that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, I, I remember we started playing, and I was looking at myself on the camera. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking at the monitors, you know. And as we're playing, and I can hear Bramford saying, "Man, stop looking at the so-and-so cameras and play something." I was like, "Oh yeah, fuck." <laughs> You got, you got Hollywood. You got yeah, Starstruck. Hold on, man. <laughs> Give me a second. This is my moment. You know, I mean, right. You know. Right. Oh, but that's if, cool. If you don't sound good, in which, you know, uh, uh, all the visuals in the world and all the intensity and all of that mean nothing if you don't have something to offer. And so I think what, what, made, what made our, our journey special, and, and I'm thinking about some of the, you know, the many, the many places we played and things we did, was that we always, we always had, a, had, had a feeling of confidence knowing we, 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 we were ready to play, to give our best. Uh, and people were there to hear that, you know, and yeah. and and, uh, and that kind of affirmation is 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 is, is, so, is something that drives you. And I I've, I've leaned on that. You met you alluded to it earlier, and I've, I've leaned on that heavily during this time. Um, yeah, because I mean, just the idea of making a video and posting it uh, is something that we would have we would have laughed at somebody for doing in the nineties. Like you made a video right. of yourself and put it out. You're like, well, <laughs> how full of yourself can you possibly be that you would do that? <laughs> exactly. You know, exactly. And, and then to wake up now and realize if you don't do that, you. That this, these are now our vehicles for publicity and promotion and for, and right. for connection and for self-expression. And so for me, uh, I know as an older person, and, when, and I don't mean to harp on, on the generational thing, it's just that, yeah. dude, I got my first computer at the end of the 90s. I mean, right. I, you know, I remember, you know, I, 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 so I, the idea of, of, uh, of the technical aspect of, of, of a personal connection becoming a major part of what we do is new for me. Uh, yeah. And I applaud everyone who sort of made that a part of what they do. But I'm glad. I'm glad to be catching up, kicking and screaming all the way. 
Oh, absolutely, man. No, no, it's good stuff. Well, I think too, though, you remember, like, we also came up, folks have to understand, like, we came up, because, um, you know, sometimes jazz musicians, like, we sound like we're like three generations before where we actually are. You know, we're like, right, oh, sure. remember back, we go on the gig on the horse and buggy? You know? <laughs> right. But you had a Pathfinder. It wasn't no horse I and did. buggy. Right. <laughs> it was a Nissan but, horse and buggy. Horse, exactly. That's right. But the thing is, we, because, we, you know, both you and I, and, and really, you know, like our little circle of, you know, uh, uh, of musicians that we came up with, and we're so lucky to still kind of be together, is we came up playing with some of the older masters. We talk about Jack McDuff and, sure. you know, Betty Carter, oh, yeah. and even like Winton and them, like their whole thing was like, if, you know, we'd be on tour in Europe, I remember with Betty Carter, and someone would have like a video camera, which a little one at the time was like this big, right, and right, she'd right. stop the gig and be like, bring that up here, you can't record, it. like, Everything right. was totally the opposite of what it is now. You know, forget about social media and recording. You know, it was like, no, it was all about the moment. So sure, I sure. think because that, and that was like, you know, I'm 20 years old playing with her. So I was like, oh, this is the way it is. So it's like, we've had to adjust, not even from oh, a technological, yeah. from a conceptual standpoint. Sure, sure. I remember doing uh, a trio gig with McBride, uh, with Christian McBride a few years back. Um, I want to say maybe it was five, four or five years ago, uh, mm -hmm. the two of us and, uh, and young Emmett Cohen on piano. We were playing, mm -hmm. playing in Denver. And, uh, you know, so a couple that we, that, you know, we, we knew, you get to know jazz fans, you know, after a while. And so was, people were sitting in the front and this woman took out her cell phone and she filmed the entire first song and she, and she was holding it. She, and finally Christian right. stopped. He was like, okay, you got the whole song, you know, give us right. a break. But, you know, right. and, it, and it's just funny because I, I think of it now, when I go out, well, you know, when I used to, when I was out there playing, if I see folks with their phones, I'm like, well, just, you know, as long as you're not texting, it's great. You know, just, I know, I know. If you want to film it, post it. Like, it's just, it's become, the mindset is changing. Right, sure. right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So somebody, uh, actually, you know what, somebody had a question, but maybe we'll wait till after the next tune, I'm going to throw it at you. Okay. Uh, so you going to play something uh, now? I think I'm going to play, it's in my turn, right? You just yeah, played that beautiful, yeah. Yeah. you just played that. What about, um, I don't know. How about, um, I'd really like to hear you swing something because you, you do it so beautifully. Oh, I was going to go funk, but okay, no problem. <laughs> no, let's do it. Oh, okay, right. I got one for you. I got one okay. for you. Okay.
Yeah. <laughs> Kill him. I was playing along, but nobody could hear me. <laughs> and and given our, tech, our our internet, I was probably uh, a second or two off. Man. Hey, <laughs> man. I don't know if you I don't know if you've seen the Christian McBride NPR video on that a couple of weeks ago, where he explained why it's impossible. Because I'm sure you've been a lot like, why don't you guys all get together and play at the same time? You know. All right, well, I'd the, love to hear how Christian explained it. Would you would you paraphrase that for me, please? Hell, I mean, I I, I don't want to. He got way more technical than I've ever heard him get on that well, subject he's capable, before. For sure, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was it was basically like about the speed of sound and sure, how sure, sure. Uh, speed it's of internet possible, yeah. and that yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I can't know. even watch a full a full episode of Law and Order without some at some point everybody everybody <laughs> freezes. So. Ah! <laughs> That's right. So I did I did that in your own sweet way. A couple mm -hmm. of uh, first of all, it's Dave Brubeck's in your own sweet way. Right. I made a grave error. A couple months ago, I played it early on on my little Friday night thing, and I, we put up In Your Own Sweet Way by George Shearing. Ooh. And I don't know, it's, that's, that's bad, right? Well, I mean, it's a mistake to mistake. It's, I, mean, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I figured it's a pandemic. You can, you know, errors are going to, I mean, it's not the end of the world, you know what I mean? It, it, yeah, and it is the, the era of the internet. It was an easy thing for people to <laughs> correct if they, you know. Oh, Google, and yeah, yeah. And oh, did they correct? Let me tell you. Oh, really? Did, was, oh, yeah. Was it, was it like a storm? Oh, okay. All right. Well, it, it was, yeah. You know, anyways, you never I get want, credit want, for all of the things you do well. You I know. Exactly. Get, you, just, you make one mistake and there you have it. Wow. Right, right. right. George Shearing was, Dave Brubeck was known as the George Shearing of the U.S. for a while, right? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, well, sure. I'm stretching. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You, reach, you might be reaching for that one a bit. But, uh, <laughs> but I, you know, the, the thing is, though, I mean, uh, you have to you have to ask this question: If if, it, if 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 both of them were still with us, would they have minded? And the answer is no. They you know, right. It, it, they, they would have been you know honored to be mistaken for each other. That's right. And it's it's like if some I, I you know if someone said, "Hey, aren't you Peter Martin?" I'd be like, "Yes, I am." <laughs> uh, unless he owes you some money, and then <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> what do you mean by it? Right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Good Did you like stuff. my piano solo? Well, yes, I'm Peter Martin. Yeah, who, why are you asking? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that's like, I don't know, I don't know if you still have a landline. We still have a landline for some reason because we live in St. Louis and we're country folks. Mm. But, um, you know, whenever that thing rings, everybody in the house, you know, everybody's at home now, the kids and everything. Right, right, the phone right. rings, everyone's like, oh! Like, what is it? Is it like, it's either like a bill collector or like a polling or it's nothing good. It's like, uh oh, everybody freezes, you know? Right. You know, I got rid of, I mean, yeah, we had one here forever. Um, but, uh, you know, no one re would really use it except for my mom when she called. She had to call the house phone. You know, that was just. Uh, That's right. That's yeah. Right. That's uh, so right. Once mom, yeah. So mom's yeah. not with us anymore. So no more life. Plus, you know, the other thing about that is, you know, I mean, your, your, your children are still teenagers. And so. Um, Mark Jr. is 30 and Davis is 27. And so, uh, you know, and so uh, you know, the thing is, after a certain time, they're just not supposed to be able to reach me. So I'm like, what, 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 what's an emergency? Well, they're grown. They're working out. I'll hear about it in right. the morning, but you're not waking That's me up right. at 4 a.m. Sorry, buddy. Cell phone's in sleep mode, you know. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, uh, guess that makes me a bad parent. I'll be a no, great I'll grandfather, though. I'm going to fill, up, fill him full of sugar and keep him up all night watching, you know, <laughs> watching bad movies and send him home with spoil. That's right. Grandpa's That's Revenge. Right. Oh yeah. So do I have time to play something else, sir? Man, let's do a couple more, as many as you want, man. This is let's 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 keep this going. Unless you got somewhere right, to be. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm in, I'm <laughs> you got a gig. <laughs> I got a gig in the other part of the living room in a minute. Dude, are you kidding me? Do you mind? Uh, oh, I guess I'm on. This is a song that I, I, I love to play um, called Midnight Sun. I learned this from Carmen McRae.
Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, man. Like I, I tried to play that a few, a few times with my broken hand. We were, <laughs> we were on tour with, with Randy Brecker and Doc Cohen uh, uh, a couple of years ago when I, when I broke my hand on the bunny slope. That's right. It still uh, had the spirit. It had a few less notes. The, yeah, the chords were a yeah, little, yeah, had a few yeah, less yeah, extensions on it. A few more, a few more tears for sure. <laughs> Oh, man, your, your finger technique is, is beautiful, man. It's, Thank you. It's the tone happening. So someone was asking, Jeff is asking, Mark, you've been playing that guitar, I think, for some time, right? Mm. What make model is that? Sounds like the best of an acoustic arch top, but electric. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I thought you were going to say, Mark, you've been playing that guitar for some time. Shouldn't you be better than you are? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it. Hey, Jeff. So uh, this guitar um, was made by the great Stephen, Stephen Marchione. He is a true uh, craftsman, uh, uh, an artisan, a, a great luthier. He made this for me in 1990. I received it in 1999. Um, and so, yeah, I've been playing it uh, uh, off and on, but most exclusively for, for that time. Uh, it, it's, he, he uh, Stephen, apprenticed with a violin maker which is uh, important in this context only because 
it allowed him to make, make use of a different kind of bracing than they normally use to put our stock guitars together, which makes it resonate more. So even when it's turned off, now you're just hearing the acoustic chamber through the microphone I'm speaking through. I can certainly play it just like that in most, most situations, and it would be just fine. So it, it speaks well as an acoustic. And then uh, the guys at DeMarzio made a great pickup for me. So um, that also allows me to amplify it. But awesome. it's a, a pretty clean, pretty pure sound. Uh, I've always been, been one of those uh, guys. I'm a fan of, of playing archtop guitars unamplified first. They have a great sound, and it's only, then, then the, only, it's, it's, the task then is just to, to, uh, to pass that through an amplifier with a simple microphone. That's pretty much all you got to do. Mm. Good stuff. Good stuff. Kind of guitar nerd stuff, but still good. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't, 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 don't get us started in the guitar. I went to Berkeley. Well, I, I majored in guitar nerd. So don't get oh, I know. That. That's, that's the original Berkeley uh, 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 major, right? <laughs> that's that's right. like if you don't declare anything, that's what they put you down as. <laughs> that's what, yeah. Your default study guitar nerd. Great. Right. Next. Exactly. Oh, so there was that comment, and then I got a comment via text mm. uh, from Kelly Martin who said, What's up? And hey, all it's well, Kelly. Actually, <laughs> She actually even, she said, well, tell Mark what's up. And then she said, to me, stop with the voice. Stop with the <laughs> God, uh, we, gotta, we should talk about the voice. Even a we got to explain it because uh, I know it's, it's sure, got to be sure. a little weird to some folks. So. Yeah, so uh, 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 the great, uh, uh, it's, it's our homage to the, uh, to the great Lou Donaldson, who yes. is uh, not only one, one of uh, jazz music's uh, um, most valuable uh, uh, you know, uh, legends, he is also one of the funniest people we have ever been around. Uh, yes. he's, he's, he's responsible for some of the greatest quotes about music and yeah. musicians of all time. Uh, and and uh, we could share a few, but the best, the, the, the best thing about it is he, you know, he's got this sort of high-pitched voice, which makes it all the more effective when he says things like, yeah, yeah. sounds great. Can I hear a little bit less? You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, because awesome. it's the high... <laughs> it's the high pitched voice combined with just the most skeptical sayings. Oh, you know, it's, I know. It's, it's like <laughs> I, I remember uh, when Mark, I talk. You know, obviously we talk about our kids all the time. I remember taking little Mark as a teenager to sit at a club here at a place called Smoke Uptown in New York City, and yeah. the drummer that had invited him to come play was a great drummer. Guys playing great, but Lou happened to be standing there next to me at the bar and watching the drummer play. And he, he turned to me. He said, "Yeah, what feel? I don't know why that drummer keeps smiling. His playing don't make me happy." <laughs> <laughs> Classic Lou. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, and he actually got us one night, if I remember correctly. Oh, he did get us. He well, got and us, the thing yeah. with Lou, too, was like, it's, it is, it's a key, you, you, we, we can say all these, we could do these quotes all night. Sure, sure. And, uh, but that's just him. Like, that's, that's, he's like an endless well. Oh, because if you, sure. This, this, like, if you start laughing, and, right. yeah, if you yeah, start laughing, he, yeah, he, yeah, he gets oh, excited. Yeah, then yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. oh, I got more. I, I, I just need this whole night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like your solo all right, night. Right, you know? All night long. Exactly. Yeah, like exactly. Lionel Richie. <laughs> right. and I remember, uh, uh, you know, when, he, when I got to play, I, you know, play with him a few times, he said, oh, yeah, I can tell uh, uh, you're a fan of George Benson. He said, I remember when I first heard George, he played with me, and I said, and George started bending notes, and I said, oh, we got a rock and roll guitar player here. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that a compliment? I mean, you know, yeah, right. you know uh, 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 and I, uh, what, uh, uh, the great Ingrid Jensen, I, uh, uh, she, she and I, at the Vail Jazz Party, you know how they get, mm -hmm. you, get a whole bunch of guys and mix you all together, and so yeah, yeah, Ingrid, yeah. who's a wonderful, was a good friend of ours, wonderful musician, yeah. she got up, and so she and I, were thrust upon Lou and and uh, uh, and and Lonnie, Dr. Lonnie, you know, and, oh, and, and, and and so we get up there and we start and so you know Ingrid takes her shoes off and and and, and plays barefoot, you know, and she, she started playing, and and Lou looked over at, at me and he knew that she was within earshot. And he said, "Oh yeah, I see when she plays all the good notes, she goes up on her toes." <laughs> <laughs> and he said, "She should stay up on her toes." <laughs> oh. <laughs> but but at least he said she sounded good. He just he right. could, you know he could. Didn't just say she said he had to put a no. whole thing in there, you know. Oh, Ingrid, that's like a you, huge compliment for me. Oh, for sure. I right. yeah, hope yeah. you're listening. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, and I think you know, uh, Mark, we've 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 kind of hit the the age that, that we can admit to everybody that we feel we feel such a kinship and such a reverence for Lou mm -hmm. Donaldson as you know, and and the the times that we got to spend with him is so special. But we feel a little bit like you know we've received like the the the, the jazz 
you know, he's been handing off like the jazz wittiest, funniest guy thing to us, right, right, which is right. funny because I don't think he sees us like that at all. Not <laughs> at all. I mean, that, that, that you and I tonight that I, that will live for, live uh, forever uh -huh. in infamy. But I'm, I'm, you, after we we had been rehearsing that day, we, we, we yep. had dinner and a few drinks and sushi samba. And yep. walk down and be like, who's playing at the Vanguard? We, we, we were doing our Lou Donaldson voices, you know. We, We've we, been doing we, it for two hours straight. <laughs> right, right, right. Kind of lost track. And yeah. we, walked, we wandered down 7th Avenue, and he was at his favorite pizza joint right upstairs above the Vanguard. That's right. Having a slice of pizza on his break. On, on break, right. Right, 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 right. right. So we walked up to him, and I, and, and I remember saying, oh, man, it's Lou Donaldson. And I said, <laughs> we got stuck in the voice. Lou right in the voice. Right. And, and luckily for us, he you know he just ignored that part. He looked up yeah. and he said, "I remember never forget." He's, he's quote unquote. He said, "Oh, look out! It's the big money musicians." <laughs> <laughs> oh, now pay for my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> my pizza's on them. See you next time. Saying, no, you're not on the guest list. <laughs> Ah. Oh, and then we great. went down and he was killing. Like he, oh, he was killing. He just, we at, were so the, humbled, well, man. Yeah, yeah. Well yeah. into the late 80s, early, at that point, in the early 90s, and he, and he came out and he opened up with like Cherokee or something and played his yeah. butt off. I was like, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just in case no, he's you weren't great. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, so that's what, when we do slip into that, it's, 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 it's all, all about the homage. Yeah, yeah, we're we're sure. channel, channeling Lou. Right. But our families can't stand it. No, they can't. They, yeah, they yeah, like it's yeah. it's totally lost on them. I they love Lou, but they don't yeah, like us doing it. Like us, uh, I can't. I, I would call. I would call call your house and your wife and kids and say, "Stop with the voice." Is that so? Get away! No, don't answer the phone. Right, and, and it's even surviving the pandemic and technology. She's texting me, no voice. Right, right, Stop right. With the voice. Oh God! Right. I'm sure if I, I'm sure I'd be getting the same text if I if I yeah. if I turn my phone off. But if I do that, it'll probably right. ring. So I'll leave it alone. Exactly. Well, Ben, I was thinking so. So a lot of folks don't know we we're talking about all the New York stories, but we had a we had a nice run together in New Orleans, kind of really like but you know our formative years in a lot of ways when we were sure, down in Louisiana sure. and uh, a lot of happy times. So I was thinking about doing kind of an anthem from New Orleans, which is swinging at the Haven. Sure. And uh, you know Ellis Marsalis was a huge Absolutely. influence on both Absolutely. of us and somebody sure. that we're thinking about all the time, and we just lost you know a couple four months ago. And no. Uh, so, so uh, I mean, we owe yeah. so much of, about, uh, uh, even though I talk about my young, my early days being in New York, uh, after getting out of, out of college, you know, I came, I came to the city in 87 and I was yep. here for three years, but then we moved to, we moved to Louisiana and, you know, and connect, reconnecting with you there, uh, yeah. and, and then, uh, meeting Nicholas Payton, who well, actually I already met, but, you know, hanging with Nick and Chris Thomas. Yeah. And, yep. and and Blade and all the cats. Yep. We, you know, we, we play Bryce Victor Winston, Goins. Victor Goins, Bryce Winston, all that's these right. Yeah, yeah. We, we owe a lot of our, our a lot of our, our music. Delphio. Del Delphio was? <laughs> Delvis? We, <laughs> Delvis. <laughs> we owe a lot of our, of, of, of what, of, uh, uh, a lot of our, a lot of our thanks and appreciation to the time we spent at Snug Harbor and at the Funky Butt play, you know, Donald Edwards. Funky people, Butt, you know, that's Wes right. Wes Anderson. Donald you know, Edwards, you know, yes, you know, absolutely. You know, Roland Garen, guys, you know. Yep. Uh, uh, Jeff Clapp. Yep. You know, God, we were all guys together uh, playing every week, uh, uh, and the folks who put up with listening to us, we thank them too. That's right. That's so, you're right. Gonna, That's so, all right, you're going to get into Swinging at the Haven. I, I was going to do a little Swinging at the Haven. Beautiful. We'll see what happens. All right, I know it'll be great.
<laughs> yeah. We remember that one. We remember yeah, absolutely. that one. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's for Alice for sure. That's for E. Yeah. I know he's looking at us smile. That's right. That's right. Mm -mm -mm. So what you say? We do a we, we do a couple more, and then and then uh, we'll go meet in the city. Maybe have a drink, have a little dinner, go to sushi samba. You yeah, available? let's do all. <laughs> we'll do as much of that as we can get away with. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Mm. 
Sorry, I was playing a lot. I was a little playing a lot. Swing it. Come on. That's we'll how we do it. Again, a little bit. We will be together again. Absolutely. Nice yeah. stuff. Nice stuff. So I was thinking uh, maybe as we kind of move towards wrapping this up, mm. uh, what do you think about we play something? I don't know. I, so the folks that don't know, we were alluding to this before, playing together. Well, we can get away with like, I was listening to Mark there and I was playing along, but you couldn't hear me because to me it sounds right together. But if he had heard, if Mark right, had heard I would what start I was to playing. To you and right. Yeah, right. We, we yeah, yeah. It gets, it's crazy. It's like, right. you know, because we got such good time. See, we, we, the internet messes us up. It's exactly. like an alternative. But I've never tried this. What about if we tried something and just kind of like went chorus back and forth? Okay. Like I play a chorus, you play a chorus. Like we... We trade it from New Jersey, Missouri. New Jersey, Missouri, that kind Jersey of thing. You got Jersey City to St. Louis. I got yeah, that. Yeah, kind, kind, of like, kind of like we're trading the rising numbers. New uh, Jersey, Missouri. Oh, oh yeah. sorry. That was bad. Uh, <laughs> that was bad. Now? That was bad. <laughs> Lowering. We're lowering them. Bringing it what down. Do you got? Bringing it down. Uh, you want to do something? I mean, you got all the techniques, so I can try yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, easy. You know. <laughs> Maybe um, you want to do something kind of bebop, Donna Lee, or. Uh, uh, what you think about that? Uh, we could do that, sure. Or something else. Something, what, what else? No, that's what else fine. I thought about that, yeah. Come on, see? That's how we do it. Um, this should work, right? This, is, this, is, this isn't going to make the internet explode. We might break it, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's been known to break before. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens.
Right, that was the first for me. Hold on, there's a problem with my internet. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I should have upgraded my internet. <laughs> Kill him as always, Peter. Oh, you too, ladies and gentlemen. That's Mark Whitfield. Give it up for Mark Whitfield. Woo, woo, over here. What's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we love this, Mark. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm doing the whole audience thing. <laughs> I can hear that. I know. I see it. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> Man, Mark, thank you so much, man. You are, uh, you are, uh, I mean, we could do this all night and uh, let's, let's do it again. I would love to. Peter, you're killing us always and this is awesome. I'm glad I was a part of it. Uh, um, all I can say is I can't wait until we can actually be in the same room and play together. But in the meantime, I'll take this any day of the week. That's right. Yeah, me too. Oh, and look, everybody, if you have it in your heart, we're doing a brand new virtual ticket situation. Everything's virtual, you know. So if you want, there's a link below. And we even have, we have different levels. We've got the, I didn't even tell you about this, Mark. We've got the, mm -hmm. I'm broke, but I love the music ticket level. You, you oh, can't yeah. do that at the Vanguard. The Vanguard doesn't give you that, right? <laughs> Where can I sign up for that? <laughs> yeah, I'm broke, but I love I the music. I need a stimulus check. Hold on. <laughs> That's right. Oh, no, we got the stimulus check level also. That's a little oh, higher. Oh, we got a little higher. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, we, we've got all the different levels. But if you guys enjoyed the music, you know, and want to show your support, feel free to, to uh, click below. It's real easy. And uh, everything goes straight to the artists. And, um, and you know, we're going to try to keep doing this. This is our second, uh, like I said, uh, we had, I did Fred Hirsch, and, and now it's Mark Whitfield. So it's going to be very, who am I going to get? Oscar Peterson? He's not with us anymore. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's going to be hard next time. So <laughs> He's a bass player here about up-and-coming guy. Uh, he's uh, he's out, of, out of Philly. 
uh, uh, Chris McBride. You should look him up. Chris McBride. Right. That's he's right. He's probably available. I don't know if he's you know probably doesn't have much going on. Oh, and actually, so if you guys, is the record that you did, you and Joey, is that out yet or it's coming out really uh, soon, I, right? I believe it's out. Uh, uh, Joey DeFrancesco and myself, our guests with Christian yeah. and the big band, a tribute to Jimmy Smith and uh, 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 Wes Montgomery and uh, uh, Oliver Nelson. It's going to be great. And that's on the Mac Avenue level uh, it, uh, label, I should say. It, I think it is, yeah. I don't. I don't yeah. know if we if we made it to uh, if we made it to Christian's imprint was that uh, brother Mister Records. I don't know if we brother. Yes. Yeah, like, uh, shout out to. He, he, that's right. Well, you know, it's like at, at that at the at the beginning of the movie when it's like Warner Brothers, and then it's like a pyramid going down. Right, 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 right. <laughs> brother, you know, it's like yeah, 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 yeah. in association yeah. with the, you know exactly. brother Mister Productions. Right, right. right L yeah, yeah, LLC. Yeah, yeah. LLC. Right, right. right exactly. <laughs> LLC. <laughs> yeah, but that's gonna be great. I haven't heard it yet, but uh, McBride was talking when I was talking with him last it's week. It's a I beautiful know, project. Excited. It's a great record. Yeah, Come and on. I know you're gonna be killing you and Joey. Yeah, good time. Joey's playing his butt off. The band sounds great. He got the right cast. And you guys recorded right there in Jersey, right? Montclair? We sure did, out in Montclair. That's right. So you guys check that out uh, when you get a chance. And Mark, thank you again. Thank you guys, everybody, for being Ooh, here. Peter Martin. Come on. Peter. Mark, Mark Whitfield. Lou Donaldson. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a text from Lou. Hold on, I don't care. He's going to make it up, but I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> Give my love to the family, please. I will. You do the same. And, um, and then uh, we're going to see you next time. Thanks, everybody. All right. Good night. Amen. Amen.